Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, today we're going to be doing some coasters and we are be, we are going to use some fabric. And these coasters are going to be Kiwiana coasters. If you're wondering what Kiwiana is, it's anything to do with um, us Kiwis here in New Zealand. So this fabric here, um, it was a big piece and it had big words all over it and all sorts and I just sort of had to pick out little bits that uh, meant something to me. So that's the map of New Zealand. That's a sheep, jandals, kiwi fruit, all things kiwi. This is a tui, one of our native birds. And jandals, because everyone wears jandals in New Zealand. <laughs> okay, so I've cut these out. What I did is I got a coaster I had already made and used that as a template, and then just traced around it and cut it out. So they fit nice and snug and they do touch the sides right up to the sides. I did make one where I trimmed it too much and it didn't look really good. So the material needs to hit each side. So what I'll do is I'll just trim off these tiny little bits that are sticking out. And go and mix my resin up. And we'll be ready to make a start. A little piece of resin stuck in there. Get out of there. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, I've just mixed up only 100 mils, so just put 25 mils in each. Coaster. And just spread those right to the edge so the whole bottom of the coaster has a layer of resin on it Sorry about the shadowing on the um, video today, it's um, raining miserable outside and I've got all my lights on and it's casting shadows everywhere. Okay, make sure that's in every corner. So I'm going to be putting the fabric in upside down, so the underside of this mould will be the top side of the coaster. Okay. So before I put the material in, I spray with alcohol. So the alcohol is sitting on top, and the material will soak that alcohol up straight away. Just place it in there, and you'll see it just gets that wet look to it. Here's my scissors. And just bring that material down inside the mould. I'm 
and just make sure that it's nice and straight push down the sides now where's my little hodaki spatula thingy oh. wait a minute i'll just go find it this is what i was looking for now what i do is i just gently push the material slightly in down I mean you'll get some coming over the edge that's all good just make sure that's nice and straight I'm just making sure the material is not puckered. Okay, that's good. Jandals. The alcohol will come straight through the um, fabric and evaporates. It's, I do that to help minimise bubbles getting trapped under the material because the material is porous, so the alcohol wets it first. If that makes sense. Oh, what did I do? Sorry. Probably should have ironed with maybe this material that's got a kink in it, it's going whoop. Push that down a little bit. Hopefully that won't show up on the other side and the two is the last one. Okay, now we just leave that to cure. That material is all soaked in resin. Okay. Come back when that's cured and then we're going to be top coating it with a colour. Now it's time to coat the, the back of these and I am going to coat them white. If I coat them in black I'm worried that the 
um, pictures would be too dark or show through the material. I don't know if that would or not now that there's resin on top, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm just going to get some white paste. Give it a good stir. And I've mixed up 200 mils, so I'll put in about that much. I was going to put um, white mica powder on the back, but I'm going to be covering them with um, cork anyway, so no point in wasting all that mica powder. Let me know in the comments guys if you've made um, coasters before with fabric and, and how did it go. Did you do it any differently? Um, next time I'm going to try putting my white in first, curing that, then putting just a slither of um, clear resin on top of the, um, the white and then putting my material face up, let that cure and then top it up to doming stage with with the clear, see if it makes uh, any difference or whether they just end up the same. So like I said at the beginning, kiwi armor is just anything to do with kiwis, us kiwis. Um, some of what we call kiwiana, I think the Australians, the Aussies probably use it too, maybe the sheep, um, the jandals, I think they might call them thongs there, or, or unless it's Americans that call them thongs, not sure, we call them jandals, these ones, um, pavlova is another one that Aussies, um, claim to be theirs but we all know that it's uh, New Zealand. New Zealand invented the pavlova, come on guys. They try and steal it all the time. <laughs> and Farlap the horse, that's another one. <laughs> oh boy we could really get into it. I'm sure someone's going to comment about Farlap. That's a horse if you guys don't know. Famous horse. Pretty sure Skellington of Farlap is in a museum either in New Zealand or Australia and the heart of the horse is in New Zealand or Australia. I can't actually remember which is which but it's an ongoing battle. And saying that Aussies and Kiwis are pretty much cousins. It's only over the ditch. Okay, that's mixed thoroughly. Let's pour. Is that mixed thoroughly? Let's have a look. Mm, yep. Good enough. Okay. Uh, just going to do a spray with some alcohol. And fill these up to the top.
Now I don't have to dome these because it's the bottom and just so they're level. Okay, that's them, they're full. Hope that one doesn't overflow. And I've got too much resin left. Holy moly. I've got, what have I got left? About 50 mils. Never mind. Um, spray these bubbles coming to the surface. And I will make something else with this leftover and we can demold that at the same time as these. Okay, these are ready to unmold. Let's do the little extra that I did with the leftover white. I just did a dolphin and I just oops brushed on some yeah. Don't know about that. I brushed on some holographic flakes. Eh, no. Okay, let's do these. Okay, so you can see where my material was a bit wonky because I didn't iron it on the sides, but the front looks really good. I will put cork on the back. And yeah, okay. So, what have I learned? Iron your fabric, make sure it's nice and flat, not wobbly. Oh, that's a cool one. I like that. Same thing, the materials. Yep, so next time I think what I'll do is I might um, pour the bottoms in first, the white, cure that, and then put more material on top of that. That's beautiful. I love the tui. It's another okay cool well I just need to tidy up the edges because there is a little bit of um, overspill around there so I'll just use my debarring tool and just comes off straight away That just cleans up the edges. Okay, let's put some cork on the back. I'll just show you quickly how I do that. And then I'll take some photos. And put those at the end of the this video. So this is the cork backing I got. Um, just got it from Timo. It came squished and bent. Never mind. So... I usually just make them a tiny bit smaller so they're easier to put on otherwise 
if the cork is sticking out a little bit or right on the end it's really hard to trim once it's on here so I just do it a little bit smaller tiny bit smaller you know like a millimeter around each edge so let's do that about there And cut on the inside of that line. And try and find your centre. all the way around and done that's up so we'll do that four times and take some photos what do you guys think of these coasters these kiwiana coasters a little bit different using fabric um yeah let me know if you've used fabric and um or if you've got any ideas that you want me to try out just let me know and i'll give it a go and video it if there's some mold you'd like me to try out. Um, yeah, don't think much of this dolphin. Mm. Never mind about him. I did make some um, lacing, some bubble lacing as well. I got this little um, mold here, so they, you could um, so hopefully it'll stay bendy for a while, and you'd be able to cut a bit. Maybe put um, a little bit in the corner of your mould so you would cut like that and maybe do an ocean scene and that's the throff in the, in the ocean waves or something anyway okay guys well thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>